Welcome to this coffee break. My name is Kenan Berisha and I have everything prepared to show you how the electronic autocollimator triangle performs angle measurement in wedges. Lean back, enjoy your coffee and join me for this coffee break. Now, here we are at the lab with our triangle autocollimator and the wedge already in a housing that we want to measure. The triangle can measure wedges up to the specified field of view. In this case, with a focal length of 300 mm, we can measure wedges up to 2000 arc seconds. But first, I would like to demonstrate how we can measure the wedge angle. There are two ways how you can measure the angle of an optical component. One is in reflection, one is in transmission. When measuring in reflection, we get a reflex from both surfaces. Since both surfaces will have an angle to each other, the reflection from the wedge will land on different positions on the camera chip. From the distance both reflection will have to each other, we can calculate the wedge angle. We place the wedge in front of the autocollimator and make sure both reflexes will land on the camera chip. Now we just need to navigate to the wedge measurement mode and see our results. And there we have it. When working in transmission, we need to place a mirror in front of the autocollimator and zero this position. To do that, I will just need a second to place the mirror. So now the mirror is placed in front of the um, triangle autocollimator and we need to zero that position. Why do we need to do that? Well, because when working in transmission, we passing through the wedge coming from the side, passing through the wedge, coming back from the mirror and going again through the wedge. And to calculate the, the wedge angle correctly, we need to know how the mirror is placed relatively to the triangle. Therefore, I'm taking away the wedge again. And I'm switching to the transmission measurement mode. And now I can zero that position. The wedge that we want to measure now needs to be placed between mirror and triangle to get the right deviation of the beam. Now we need again to adjusting the shutter time and we can see the reflex coming from the mirror. And there we have our results. In today's coffee break video, we saw that the triangle is able to measure optical wedges in different ways. The reflection mode is used when working or measuring a large wedge angle and the transmission mode is used when measuring a small wedge angle. Thank you for joining me today. Till next time.